Welcome to Spreadsheet Solving. In our video today, we are going to discover a practical application of Google Spreadsheets. Now this here is our currency exchange rate translator. Here we can calculate the amount from one currency into another currency based on the exchange rate. So in this case, what we see here is that 75 Canadian dollars is as of today, July 21st, 2013, equivalent to 72.34 US dollars. Now the neat thing is that our spreadsheet will calculate the exchange rate automatically, and in addition, we can select any amount and any currency within a list of about 61 currencies. Now, let me show you how this works. Let's say I am interested in the Aussie dollar. We're in Australia and I'm a US citizen and I'm curious how much is 100 Aussie dollars worth in USD. So I'm at the store in Australia so I select here and I see an item for 100 Aussie dollars. How much is that worth? How much am I going to be spending based off of US dollars? And in this case our calculator uh, translated that immediately uh, into 91.93. So a $100 Aussie item or souvenir is equivalent to a 91.93 US dollar souvenir. Okay, you'll also notice that you can also change the two currency, again, based off of this list of 61 currencies. Now, how were we able to make this work? How is it that we can translate these currencies simultaneously within this calculator? All right, let's see. Let's change. Maybe we're curious about the Aussie dollar versus British pound translation. Here we go. We see 100 Aussie dollars is equal to 60.23. How does this calculator work? Okay, so the first thing to notice is Anything highlighted in orange is an input to the user. So I can change anything up here, the from currency, along with the to currency. In addition, I can change the amount. So the orange shaded areas are inputs. Now, how is this cell output generated? In this case, we use two functions. The key function is the Google Finance function. So please check out our Google Finance video for more details. Uh, in a nutshell, the Google Finance function will retrieve information from Google Finance. So we're retrieving the exchange rate information from Google Finance. The second function that we use within here, this combined uh, function, is the if function. Okay. What else do we need to know? Well, in this case, how did we select the currency up here? How do you let the user select what currency he or she wants? Well, we use something called data validation, which can be found up here, data validation. And again, we encourage you to check out our specific video tutorial on data validation. And finally, this code here, this is what enables this Google Finance function to recognize um, recognize what the currency is. And this code, we uh, employ a function known as the VLOOKUP function. So again, uh, these are very practical spreadsheet functions, and so we encourage you to view those video tutorials on our website at www.spreadsheetsolving.com, or you can check this out on our YouTube channel, which is www.youtube.com slash spreadsheet solving. Okay, meanwhile, go ahead, feel free, explore um, and make use of this currency exchange rate calculator. We'll see you next time.